not be the word, but we know we ought to have Mr. Sturtopedic, a.k.a. Charles, Gordy Stick, what the hell is that, versus Noku, <laughs> who, if I just saw correctly, had lost to Charles, not Charles, um, what's his name? Lost to Sean, I don't remember exactly the set, but Sean definitely did his homework. I mean, once again, getting 3-0 to catch on the dub, that's what we call an ad adaptation. Right now, uh, Noku needs to make some adaptations right now, because he's sitting with like hardly any percent on the board versus Snake. So your Squirtle at this early percent versus Snake, that's not good. Nice conversion coming out, you know, now switching the Ivy. Now we're going to make some bread in this matchup. Now we're going to make some bread. Look at the explosions already. Ivy so don't mind those explosions. It's Ivy. No confining man, man didn't get off a ledge. Ivan, now he's finding himself back on here right now. Let's hope he don't start paying rent. And Noku's looking, he's paying rent. He's going to be paying rent on this ledge right now. This ledge trap looking kind of devious right now. He had nowhere to go. Just going straight into the F till Charles takes the first stock. Never mind, he changed his tag actually to Sturdopedic. It's not Charles anymore. It took that. It took finally. It took long enough. God damn, Charles. I'm still going to be calling him Charles for like mad long. It's going to take a while for Sturdopedic. Or just started it, just like uh, click. And Charles managing to make it th from the depths of hell to get the stock on Noku. Not stock, but just, you know, get back on stage. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sit, watch the explosion go on. Imagine the weave through and get back down to the ground safely. I guess, you know, he probably do be playing at Cliff whenever he comes home. Bang! Into the up air. And that takes that stock. So now we're here back in neutral. The Ivy Store is going to be playing now. I mean, Ivy does do, in my opinion, the best in this matchup. Get out of like all the uh, all the Pokemon that PT has. Like I wouldn't Squirtle in this matchup. Okay, until like you know uh, Charles does what he did in the, f the first half of the first stock, and it prevents Noku from playing the game. Trying to go into the back here, but no success on that one. Okay, nice little conversion, but he's trying to catch the spots up. Ooh, I heard that. That was an explosion, and the plant monster has exploded. <laughs> the one thing you can always count on for Noku Zard is going to be just a very passive gameplay. Like, Zard, we know Zard is a monster who hits, like, ridiculously hard. But Noku Zard is very, very calm, very collective. Unlike this monster that is uh, the Sturdopedic Snake. This snake is a demon. If anything. Alright, another withdrawal sent him straight into the straight into the blast zone. Oh, he's not going to the blast zone this time because you know he was ready for it. The DI was good. And the move might be stale. And ooh, right from under the stage, but that's still not enough to take the stock. And the dash attack is barely whiffing. Noku needs to find a way to get the stock off right now, so then Zard can do his thing and be rage monster Zard. And he's full of rage right now, but you know it's still it's Rage versus Snake. How is that really going to help you that much if you can't get near him? And the run up up to snapping the neck with the bottom of his foot, that'll do it. <laughs> that will do it indeed. Alright, so back into the now Squirtle's having a much better start this time. Not not sitting at like 83% in the first 10 seconds. Noku playing a lot more patient, a lot more I wouldn't say I wouldn't say patient, he's playing a lot more careful. His movements are a little bit more he's not getting just a ran down immediately, you know, because last game, ooh, that. That was not looking good for him last game. Just using to get to sit the little conversions, or maybe no, maybe Squirtle doesn't have any combos off the down throw at this percent. Who knows? I certainly don't. Oh my god, a bite? That's sick. Okay, nice. Into the upbeat, not not enough, not enough. And try to catch him with the Razor Leaf frame trap. Alright, sending him off stage. Into the explosion known as the ball burst up air. And that will do it. Uh, Noku will take the very first stock coming down in the second game.
but now again, getting off this ledge. Monster at ledge and the monster dies. Alright, now we got Turtle Monster coming up into the jab grab, taking a page out of Gatsby's book. Speaking of Gatsby, how's he doing in this bracket? Because I saw he lost to L. I don't know how he's doing, if he's still in or not. Uh, oh, Sean won 2 0 over Noku. And Jag got beat L. Oh, Gatsby lost to J Grunt. And then, oh, he lost to J Grunt for top 8. Okay, that's cool. Oh, Cody's out. Lost to Tony Bajanas. Oh, Jesus. All right, so boom. Uh, how is he going to get it through here? Into that back air. Stop? No, the forward air will do it instead. Wonderful positioning from Noku. Getting us up right under that stage. Just so we can get that forward air. Clean. Clean stuff. I'm very, you know, I'm just calling the Charizard forward air to Dragon Claw. That's Dragon Claw now. Any forward air. Nice spot up grab. Oh, Jesus, I thought he was going to dunk him. Even though it wouldn't really do, amount to much. It would still be cool. I don't know why he up tilted in that situation. Okay, yeah, down throw. Into the F tilt. No up tilt needed. He said, I could use my knee for this one. He had the roll read and just chose not to punish him for it. No confusion just to get out of there indeed, but missing his uh, conversion. Throws a grenade about to no avail. I know Noku trying to just, he's they're kind of middle of a scramble right now. Noku's barely winning it. Oh, Charles doing his damn good job. Look at that, 56% after that little interaction. Noku scrambling to get out of there right now. Playing a little sloppy, I see it from him. Oh, into the upper? No, oh, almost so. That was a nice punish, but you know, it's very tricky to punish uh, the snake down there. Like, if you were playing a little frantically, then uh, you will not punish that move accurately all the time. You will not punish that move. That move is very difficult to punish every time. Well, not every time. It's just like, you know, if you try to swing immediately after getting hit by it, you're not punishing it. The snake, for some reason, can drift to, like, the moon and beyond. Speaking about the moon. Noku taking that game in a very quick fashion. Up be calling out the jump hard. Love to see it. Start Love to see it. Hey, I speak Dijon Mustard. I keep calling him Dijon Mustard. Dijon Mark, nice. And then he lost to Tony. Okay, so I just got nice, not bad. Oh, wow. Nice music. Oh, well, Coffee lost to Cody. Ah. Uh. Alright, so boom bop, bibbidi bop. Charles trying to get the read. I start. I'm gonna start trying to get the read on the roll. On the roll, not uh, not a wish was like him. And I let's trap it coming in. This way he let's trap is so creative. It makes it like you have no escape option. Like you escape, you're gonna take some kind of damage. And see, no cool. Uh, he managed to escape, but now he's finding himself like just really back in the ledge. This is not. This, I do not, I want to know what Noku banned because I would not want to take Snake to the stage. You take Snake to the stage, you kind of ask him for some, some punishment. Granted, like, I guess I wouldn't want to go Battlefield either. I mean, this, hold on, this three bands. This three bands now with the eight stages. Bro, this is a mad stage you could not have gone to. Yeah, kind of nowhere to go right there. I'm saying the smothering lead trap coming out from Charles. Back to Bear. Yes, indeed. He died at 50. He died at 50. What? Not even 50. My bad. He died at like 35%, bro. That's that. This. No. No, son. The Zard is, a, is wearing a ski mask because he's out here committing robbery. Jesus Christ. Flat thighs up to a snake classic. I don't even know what to do. No good. Actually, missing a down throw combo. Squirtle. Is that even possible? Oh, okay, you're going for the Bobo. Don't even want to uh, risk challenging that. To the S mask, nice job. Now he has him in the palm of his fingers. Palm of his hands. I know I know it's up there. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry? That did not look like he was going to kill. Anyway, down Noku up a stock, and now this game is really, uh, he's beginning to snowball. And it just, it is, the ball has been rolling. Ah, I forgot about that. Forgot about that. 
All he needed was for Zara to just come in and snatch that sock away from Noku, from uh, Charles, and Noku's kind of in. He's in the driver's seat. Two calculated pays will be just more than enough for uh, Snake to bring this back. Charles won't have more than anybody. Look at that well placed back air. Ugh, and just like that, we have an even game again. Excuse me. So Noku had, he had, he had such a lead, but did not get much, much of a chance to play around with it. Double jump up air. Very nice combo coming out, 48%. Ooh. Noku doing a lot of these, like, fates with his movement. Making it uh, a little bit of a mix-up, I guess you can say. <laughs> that is not something you see a lot coming up in snakes. It's <laughs> punishing with up air like that. To the back here, nice stuff. 98% in on Charles. He is he could die at any moment right now. Off stage versus Ivy Sword is not kind of the spot you want to be at. They got a land versus him too. Down smash the hand of the weak hit of it, and the upgrade just barely missing. On the hunt, and the Zard up smash will do it. Tok Noku takes that 2-1 over Charles. Pokemon trainer.